So what are six things that you would tell a perplexed librarian about linked data? What is it and what does it mean to them or what should it mean to them? Well, I think the, the place I would start is that linked data is for everyone. If you are a librarian and you care about connecting users to information, then linked data is for you. It's not just a technology thing and it's not just for catalogers. So I would start there. And second, I would say that linked data is now. It's not something that is happening in the future. It's not purely theoretical. When you do a Google search today, you're seeing linked data in action. And because librarians care about their patrons and their communities, we need to be in that search engine too. We need to be advocating for our users wherever linked data is, including in the search. I would also say that there's a misconception that linked data is all about technical expertise. And I would say that the technology is part of all of our jobs as librarians, but linked data is not so much about the tech technology and more about the fact that it reveals and expresses relationships between things and it creates context for our searchers. And so linked data is less about technology and more about relationships and expressing those for people doing research. I would also say that linked data can be fun. In our book, we talk about a work of art, uh, the Parliament album, Mothership Connection. And if you have any favorite work of art, you can take the principles we apply to that album and apply them to the work of art that you love best. And through that example and that case study, we talk about the linked data relationships that are exposed when we create trickles out of one item in our libraries. And I think revealing that context can be really fun, especially if you're talking about a work of art you're really passionate about. I'd also like to sum up by saying that we wrote this book because we want to empower librarians to feel comfortable talking about linked data, thinking about linked data, and creating linked data. So you can read one chapter of this book and feel more confident when you're in a conversation about linked data. You can read two or three chapters and feel like you can actually get involved in that conversation and bring some perspective to linked data from your unique expertise. And by reading all the way through the book, we end with a lot of practical examples of things you can do right now, starting a study group in your library or working with a set of data that you already have available and turning it into triples. And by using those practical examples, we hope that this book leaves you feeling empowered to create linked data, talk about linked data, and be involved in those conversations. And last, I'll just say that this book was written by four co-authors, and we come from various parts of the libraries. We have a developer, we have a metadata strategist and transformation expert. We have someone working on metadata policy, and I work as a manager and administrator, and we all bring a lot of different perspectives to the conversation. And I think this book has something for everyone, and I really hope that you can go from being perplexed to feeling more perceptive about linked data by looking at this book. Thank you.